In this tutorial, I just want to show you how you can add and edit tick marks to your graph in Microsoft Excel. So here we have a basic line chart in Excel. And to add tick marks to an axis, um, all right, first what you have to do is you have to right click on the axis that you want to go ahead and add the tick marks to. So let's just say you wanted to add tick marks to the vertical axis. We just right click on the vertical axis. And then after doing that, this little menu will pop up at the very bottom. It says format axis. We're going to go ahead and click on format axis. And here a little window pops up on the right where we can see all of our axis editing options. And we're going to want to go to the ones that has the three bars that's on the very right, right here, and edit the options down here. So scrolling down, you see axis options. Uh, we see axis options, tick marks, labels, and numbers as kind of the four categories that we can edit. And we're going to want to click on tick marks. And here, there are two different kinds of general tick marks, major type and minor type. So we can click on the, and you can just kind of mess around with these to get the tick marks that you want. So we can, for major type, we can have an inside. So it looks like that, or on the inside. We can have outside. We can have cross, or you can have none at all. And for minor type, we can have inside, outside, and cross. And as you can see, the difference between the major and the minor is that the minor is much more finite than the major. Um, so let's just say we wanted to have to have outside for the outside for the major and inside for the minor. Um, that would look like that. And we can do a similar thing for the vertical axis. So right click on the vertical axis, click format axis. And on the right, you're going to scroll down and see an option that, that says, that you're going to see an option that says tick marks. And then oh, it's defaulting to having them on the outside. We can change it to where they're on the inside. We can have a cross. And you can do the same thing for the minor type. Um, so just so you wanted to keep these, have outside for the major type and then inside for the minor type. Now, as you can see, this might look a little bit funky, and we want, we're going to, want to adjust the color of the tick marks for the horizontal axis so that way they match what's on the um, vertical axis. So, to do this, we can just go to the little fill option right here, and then here you can see uh, if these options, you, you can see you can adjust the color, and we're going to want to adjust not the fill color, but we're going to want to scroll down a bit and adjust the line color to be black. And you can see by going to the uh, fill and line options, we in adjusting the line color, we changing it to black. The tick marks are also changed to be black. Um, that's it. I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day.